I'm Evie. Hi, I'm Kara. Hi, I'm Theo. Hi, I'm Ashton. Hi, I'm Harry. Hi, I'm Maddie. Hi, I'm Sophie. Hi, I'm Abigail. Hi, I'm Jasmine. Hi, I'm Phoebe. Our aim was to work together to think of lots of different ways that we could help other children like us improve our physical and mental well-being, mindfulness and connecting to the natural world around us using an app that we would create ourselves. The journey is close to the coast so we have the privilege of being a short car journey to the beautiful beaches. It also has great green spaces and country parks for us to visit and explore the nature around us. We have made a list of our local places to visit which we have put onto our app. We love the name of our app I Value You because it has a lot of meaning. It, it's important to value yourself and others. Everyone is unique in their own special way. It's also about accepting yourself and other people for who they are. At the beginning of the project, what did you know about well-being? Um, we didn't really know much, but we thought it was like being happy and going, um, but now we know so much more. On our first trip to Cardiff Met, we had our first introduction to yoga and mindfulness. My first group did yoga. Half of us almost fell asleep as we were so relaxed. Then we went to the nearby woodland. We practiced some mindfulness techniques. Then had to choose a leaf that we were attracted to, study it and explain to the group why we liked it. It really opened our eyes to all the tiny detail in nature that we take for granted. We had a few moments when we stopped and listened to the bird song. It was relaxing but interesting as it now made me want to learn more about the different types of bird songs so I can identify which birds I can hear. We also studied the lines on the palms of our hands and had to find a tree with similar shape and pattern. I really liked the little bridge we walked over because we had to whisper something we were grateful for to the magic stick dangling from a tree. We chose to work on the area we call picking out the positives. We did research about how, how having a positive attitude and mindset can change your outlook on life. It is so important to see the positives in our lives and have gratitude for even the smallest things. We made a book club journal where we kept a daily list of things to be thankful for. It really opened our eyes to see how many great things we have or that are happening. We felt really lucky. This is something everyone should do. We even tried becoming a positive pal and when we hear people being negative, we would say something positive about it. We worked with Anna Martin to create a small tutorial on how picking out the positives work. We had so much fun. Anna and Martin are really lovely. We got to use their cool technology and learned how to use the apps such as I Can Present, iMovie and how to blog on the Spark page. In January, Sean and Anna Mater came in to teach us about the Great Crane project. We all thoroughly enjoyed the animation side of it. It taught us to stop, slow down and really concentrate on creating an animation. It takes so much mindfulness to do this. We found it quite peaceful. We are now echo makers. The second day we went to Myth Mouse and Dunes where we got to explore the nature around us. We paused on many occasions to mindfully listen to the sounds around us. We heard a sound of, of a kelu, which was magical because there are very few left. At first when we started practicing mindfulness, quite a few of us, including the adults, felt really uncomfortable in the silence and stopped for a period of time. But once you get used to it, that feeling disappears and you feel calm and relaxed. The more you practice mindfulness, the more easier it becomes, and then you'll start to feel the benefits. 
We couldn't believe that when we stopped and tuned in to the nature around us, we learnt what it felt like to be at one with nature, to feel part of the world we live in and to appreciate how unique our surroundings are. It was though we, the landscape around us came to life and the colours were beautiful, we felt alive. After practising yoga for quite, for quite some time, Anna Martin came in to teach us how to create a keynote animation for the app. It's a great app to learn how to animate and it made our yoga poses look very professional. We had the privilege of having Dan Anthony, a Welsh author, come to our school to do a bibliotherapy workshop with us. He encouraged us to pay attention to the fine details of the world around us to help broaden our imaginations. This helped with our story writing. We loved his style of writing. Books can help us relate to characters and writing can help you get lost in the world of imagination. Funny books always make you feel good and reading can help take your mind of them and distract us from our busy lives. We have really loved doing the yoga side of the project. We have had lots of practice at the different poses and researched the benefits of yoga. We even made our own yoga booklet and a few of the key stage two classes have tried out our mini yoga class and loved it. We joined the other schools involved in the project at Rodney Parade. We got to see what they had created for the app. We were impressed. We had a tour of Rodney Parade and learned about all their great achievements. We learned that well-being has a huge part to play in the world of sports. Nutrition, fitness, teamwork and a good mindset is a great recipe for a great sport. We meet every Monday afternoon for a well-being session where we research and practice different aspects of well-being. We have learned about the effects on mu of music on our emotions and mood, the content of different well-being apps, the process of making an app, and much more. We stumbled over a thing called laughter therapy and fell in love with it. It was strange at first, but before you know it, laughing becomes contagious, and you end up laughing until your tummy hurts. We have researched the benefit of laughing. It's natural painkiller. It improves mood, lowers stress hormones, and eases tension. I bet you laughed watching this. We went to Cardiff Met to learn about the spring equinox. Spring equinox marks the moment when the sun shines di directly on the equator, and we experience an equal amount of daylight to darkness. The girls created a tribal dance representing the new growth of flowers, whilst the boys composed some tribal music to go with the dance. We got to paint our faces like tribal warriors and goddesses. We performed the dance in front of lots of university students in the woodland. When we performed outside, we had a much better experience than inside. We felt as though we were part of the nature and as if we were actual flowers growing. In the world, our generation of children are growing up in today. We have so many pressures such as exams, the wrong uses of technologies, for example, bullying over Snapchat and WhatsApp, etc., fitting into social groups, lack of outdoor activity, and unhealthy ad addictions to technologies. These isolate us from reality. It is vital for us to learn these strategies we have created in the app as a healthy toolkit for us when we are feeling sad, angry, overwhelmed, or anxious. We need this now more than ever so we can enjoy our rapid improving world of technology and use it to our advantage, but also create a healthy lifestyle filled with exercise, mindfulness, good nutrition and recognition of the beauty of nature we have on our doorstep. 
We should simply be kind to ourselves and build resilience so in those moments when we are feeling overwhelmed, we will have the confidence to seek inner guidance when needed. And we believe that this app is perfect for children our age to learn these skills. We are proof that with everything we have learned over the past year has left us feeling much more happy, calm and more aware of the things we need to do in order to create these positive feelings.